Hello everyone, this is Super Aiding You, and today we're going to be playing some more Tokyo Mirage Sessions FE Encore. In the last video, we um we defeated a boss, our first boss in this game. Um, don't remember its name, but we defeated it. Afterwards, we finally got well, first we got ambushed, but then Kyria saved us. And then we came back. And then we joined this group of people who are performers to the outside world, but like, kind of like, I guess, like monster hunters of some sort in this other world. And on this video, we're going to see what is behind this door. And we shall see now. Ooh, it's a very luscious looking garden of sorts. It's a terrarium. It no, it's a it's a, a greenhouse. That's it. That's what it looks like, a greenhouse. But better. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, what is this place actually, though? No, no, it's not office building. Okay. Nostalgic, eh? Have you been here before? Does it remind me of something? I don't know. I guess they can appear in this world. The Bloom Palace. Okay. Makes sense. There's a ton of flowers. And a lot of trees. So it makes sense. It's called the Bloom Palace. Oh, Tiki. Like that one... Um, I don't know what they're called, but it's basically that Hatsune Miku thing. I thought, I thought we saw a poster of her, and we seen her earlier. Oh, you might have. There's like 20 different variants of Tiki. She's like in every game, so you might have met her before. Yep, that's her. We saw a photo. We saw a poster of her earlier. Yes. Can can you not fathom that? Oh,所以她是一个马拉。Okay. Hola. Soy Dora. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Sure. I don't mind. Even though you're probably years, years older than me because of reasons. But it's okay. You probably don't even know who you are either, so. Uh-huh. 
それってどういう意味私は他のみんなとちょっと違って。She's not like other girls. <laughs> She's bound to this place. そんなことよりお兄ちゃん、子供とシーダの記憶は No. They're, they both have amnesia. Everyone's missing the memories. Well, in a game, movie, or show where people lose their memories, they're gonna find them sooner or later. How? I don't know. I'll just have to wait and see. Now, what exactly can we do here? Immunity. Yeah, we know that. So na performa o mingen ya mirage ni gattai sasete atarashii sainou o hirakasete ageru gishiki. Sore ga unity da yo. So you fuse the souls of humans and、uh, make new power from it. Okay. You say that now, but you can later. You all will see why. But she can fight later. But she's not like an actual fighter. Like. But she can fight. Carnage Unity. Carnage Unity is a ritual of fusing mirages with performer obtained from enemies to create them into new carnage. By performing Carnage Unity, more powerful carnage can be acquired and new skills can be learned from them. This is an element that is, that is a must to complete this game, so it's best that you make use of it. So, this is kind of like the fusion system of this game, but instead of、um, fusing like monsters together to make better ones, you're fusing like souls of people to make better weapons. Yeah, that's kind of, le- that's kind of it. Um. So, we've already mastered this sword, but we got our new sword, the iron sword.、Um, sometimes they have different weaknesses and resistances, but most times it's just attack power that is raised, which is usually really good. Yes. So, whenever you master a weapon, it's always good to grab a new one. Oh, I didn't really show off the whole thing. Poop. Yay, we got a sword. Even if you continue using a carnage that you've inherited all skills from, you will gain a new, no new skills from it. If you have a different carnage whose inheritance has yet to be completed, try using that one instead. Yes, because we've mastered the other one, so there's no need. To use it anymore since we've gotten all the abilities. 
We need... Krom has... Can now use the special performance, Empty Wave. Uh, can Tsubasa make one? Nope. Can you make one? No. <laughs> um, so we can't make one for these two, but we can later. Um, we're good. I know enough about Unity for, for me to tell y'all about it. Aww. I mean, if it makes you happy to help us, we'll always come. Up, we'll always come over for some help. Take you to the stage and one more. I don't know what that one more is. Oh, so basically, once you get here, you can kind of roam around. Um, other things appear later on in the story, but we haven't gotten far enough in the story to actually make them appear. But some some special things do appear over here, but we'll see later. But for now, all we can really do is forge weapons and talk to our mirages or others <laughs> why do you all have memory loss <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I should actually speak while when it's not like a big cutscene like this. Yeah, I think that's what I might do because all these like I think during these type of like conversations they don't speak that much. They might say like a phrase or something, but like they don't speak that much. So whenever I talk to people like NPCs, I might actually do voices for them. <laughs> My best though. They won't be perfect, but I'll try. A strange place indeed. If we can manifest here, this sanctuary must function similarly to the idolosphere. Yeah. <laughs> Taking form in your world consumes quite a bit of energy. We'll stay here in the meantime, bearing emergencies. By the way, Tsuki, you'll be fighting alongside Tamoa from now on, right? Yeah. To be honest, though, I almost have no idea what I should be doing. <laughs> in truth, I could say the same. My memories are still all a haze. I know I'm a mirage, but I can't even say for sure what a mirage is, let alone who I am, or what I'm supposed to do now. Krom. But if I stand by you, something tells me I'll find the answer. So I hope you can put up with me, remaining at your side for just a bit longer. Of course, it's alright. Besides, I shouldn't have a chance against the mirages without you. Here's to a long, prosperous relationship, Krom. Thank you, Tiki. It'll be a privilege to fight at your side. You can find us when you you can usually find us here when things are quiet. But if you ever need us, we'll appear to help you. Aw. Um Hi Kaido, how you doing? Konnichiwa. Oh, it's Tiki. Hello. Yeah. Hello. So, you can materialize when you're in this room as well, then? Eh? Yeah, it seem, it would seem that way. Itsuki, I would appreciate it if you would look after Tsubasa. Sometimes I believe she can be a bit, you know, oblivious, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're not wrong. <laughs> and besides, it looks as though Tsubasa trusts you quite a lot. I'm sure 
she will need your support. Oh, she's been my friend since we were kids. I'll do what I can. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. How you doing? The Bloom Palace is a special kind of place. So here in the Mirage can show their actual forms. Surprised? Uh, mm, yeah, that's nice. First, the Fortuna office. Now this. Big open space inside. My heart's pounding from all these surprises. I'm seeing you in the beginning. So, like, I'm not going to talk around these type of cutscenes because they speak a lot. Way too much. But I might comment. Oh. Okay. We, we better report to her and be like, We found out the Bloom Pathless. You've been caught. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Okay, bye, girl. You'll be missed. <laughs> Actually, no, we'll explore this place a little bit more later. Let's talk to Miss Maiko. Hey there. いろんなこといっぺんに伝えてこんな遊ばせるのも悪いかなって思ってそれより翼ちゃんのレッスんようやく入れてきたわよおおいうわかんなレッスンうんダンスと歌をねダンスと歌をねダンスと歌をねダン
I mean, if it makes this more powerful, that's good. Oh, yes, the studio. Uh huh. Now what? Uh, oh, um, wait. Hello? Oh, hold on. <laughs> Hello? Good luck with your first lesson. The studio is in Shibuya. <laughs> I'll send you the details on topic. I'm so nervous. How could I... How am I supposed to train? You can do it. Hello. It's your first step in the industry. Lessons are the basis for everything. So pay good attention and learn what you can, okay? Okay. Okay, so let's explain things in this office, okay? Okay. First things first. This wall. This wall is used for trophies that you get throughout the game. This will explain. Play records are logs of the things you have accomplished while playing, and awards are given based on completing certain com combinations of play records. When you award earn an award, it tr its trophy will be added to these shelves for all to see. None of these affect the story. They merely exist to track your efforts and look back on finally as your career blossoms. So basically, they're not that important, but they're flashy, so... You may or may not want to get them. Depends on who you are. I don't want to because they have no importance at all. A commercial for the Utiloid Tiki Beastie game. A new song made using the program is now on sale. Cool. What is this? The article reads, What is the secret behind Yashiro Surugi? Surugi? The cool actor. For five years, his father has been missing. Oh, I wonder why. <laughs> this is a vending machine. Eateries and vending machine. Food and drinks from shops and vending machines will fully restore all HP and EP and cure all status ailments, including unconscious. Oh, so basically if you're dead. Cool. In addition, when cast men consume a food or drink item that they enjoy, it will temporarily raise their luck stop. A uh, cast member can have multiple luck boosts uh, from food or drink active at the same time. So basically, this is like a full heal. Um, do we need it though? That's the real question. No. But it's basically a full heal if you're just like down in the dumps and you don't know what to do. Welcome to El Mape. El Mapo. La Mapo. I know Spanish. Selecting a location on that Tokyo Access map will enable you to travel to that location. In addition, pressing A at, at specific areas on the edge of the field, you can press X to open the Tokyo, Tokyo Access map, as long as you're outdoors in a city like Shibuya. So our only options are Shibuya and Daitama Observatory. Um, let's go to the observatory. This is where you can do quests like this. I'm not going to do too many, but I'm going to try. While you're in the sea or investigating in a dungeon, you may discover characters with a yellow icon above their heads. You can take on requests by speaking with them. You will be awarded for completing requests from these characters. They are no, there are no deadlines for requests and they can be started anytime, so be sure to accept them when you, are, when you have time between investigations. It's Kane Yorebe from school. 
Oh, it's Siki. What brings you here? You always leave when school's over. Are you busy with work? Hey, are you interested in fortune telling? I got something you can help me with. Is that all right? Oh, these things. I hate these things. Okay. See, I'm the president of the fortune telling club, and I want to practice my gift. If you know what I mean. And that's where you can help out. All you gotta do is let me look into your future and then report back after. All right then, I'll tell you your fortune. But take a step back, it's dangerous. Hmm. Uh, eh? Eureka! Approach with modesty and outcome shall be favorable. Approach with haste and nothing shall go as planned. Or I guess if you want the quick fix, as it were, then you should go forth onward to Daitama's Round Elevator. Uh, that's all it, there is to it. See? Great. I look forward to your full report. Requests that are being completed, accepted, and are currently underway will be displayed as green icons when the conditions of the request have been fulfilled. The icon will turn purple. Speaking to the character in this condition will re complete the request. The current state of request can be checked from the map as well. Cool. So she told us uh, something about a round elevator in Daitama. So I'm guessing it's in the Idolosphere somewhere. You know what that means. We're going back in. That this is gonna happen a lot in this game. You just go back in. Hopefully you don't have to go too far, but like honestly I have no idea. Boom. A round elevator. I don't wanna deal with you. A round elevator. Um. Oh, this is it. Oh, <laughs> and that's the wrong button. Obtained consumable item treasure key. Hey, I guess Kane's fortune was right after all. I should report back. Hello. Hmm. I heard a rumor that there was an interesting place around here, but that's just a disappointment. Beyond else, here is weak. I can't have any fun here. Hmm. I'm bored. I need some spice in my life. Somewhere more exciting. I can't help you there. Goodbye. I actually really don't know what to do with her. I think she is more important later. But not right now. Well, we got what we wanted. So we can leave. I'll try to, like, throughout this whole series, I'm gonna try to do as many, like, quests as possible. I may not be able to do every quest, but whatever I can find, I'll do. Overkill. Since the enemy remaining HP decreases to zero during a session, an overkill occurred. When overkill is active, the, the remaining Attacks in that session will ignore their enemies resist, null, repel, slash drain. Oh my gosh, this, that skill is amazing. So like, once you get far into a, um, um, a session attack, um, if you get far enough, you can completely just ignore the um 
the weaknesses of enemies, which is amazing. Because then you don't have to worry about, like, either not hitting them or them hitting you back or absorbing it. HP and EP can be he healed with items or skills, as well as using faculties located in the city, such as cafe and vending machines. If you feel that the investigation, investigation of a dungeon has become too much, it is best to not push yourself any further and return to the city. Thank you. But I think I'm more than capable of doing this. Special performances. Wow, we're getting a ton of tutorials. Special performances can now be used. Special performances are skills that use the SP gauge located in the upper right on the screen. Special performances can, contri can trigger sessions while ignoring infinities. And many have powerful effects like any unlike any other skill. Oh, is that what we have? Ah. You know, let's try it out. Empty wave. Ooh. Big sword attack. Fun. Best of debut performance. That was a gold trophy. Ooh. Well, that is that one of the trophies that you have on like the shelf? I don't know. And are we going home though? No, no. Hit the man. Hit the ghost. Uh... Okay, we're not going to use empty wave all the time. I mean, we can't because reasons. Well, it's because we don't have our SP bar completely filled and so We can't. But some, some of them are actually really good. I think some can, like, raise attack, speed, defense, heal. I think the best ones are the ones that heal. Because we love a good heal. Because sometimes we're just in a bad spot, and sometimes you just need a good heal. And it don't matter right now. Though. Oh, welcome back! So, how'd it go? I got your potion. Really? Huzzah! It worked! You know, Itsuki, this means you have to acknowledge my gift. Call me Kane the Sooth Teller. Alright. See you in class. You obtained kitty candy. Wow. And whenever you complete a request, you basically get an achievement. Which is fine. Um, now to Shabuya. The day of the lesson. Hello? Oh, oh we're just showing off Shibuya. Okay. <laughs> Live live, okay. Sounds big. Can we move? Nope. Mm -mm. Our girl's talking to us. A star is born. Ah! What's wrong? What's wrong? Our first lesson is about to start. I see is nice and nervous. The studio I'm having you visit today is called the Azume Lesson Studio. It should be right across the street from the train station. It's a real flashy sign. <laughs> you can't miss it. Looks like you still have some time. Why don't you check around Shibuya while you look for the studio? 
Subasa, this is gonna be your first step into the entertainment world. There will be good times and there will be bad times. But just remember, it's all to help you. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be sad. Okay, Shabuya, various facilities, there we go, are located in Shabuya. Numerous items can be purchased at the convenience store, Hiho Market. Accessories can be can act as armor for Izuki's ally. Can be bought at Julie Carabia. Other elements can be found that are well that there are as well. Oh my god. So be sure to fully explore Shibuya. I love reading. I go too fast sometimes and I don't know what I'm saying. Um <laughs> What you, what you, what you, no. Okay, it's the plus button. Um, contacts. What you got for me? Hi. Did I surprise you? Tama, give me your contact info. I'll use topic to help you out in a lot of ways. Good luck, everyone. Aww. <laughs> Okay, let's find some requests, cause um, that's what we here for. Cause we're probably not gonna start the chapter. That's what I'm gonna do most times is that I'm not gonna start chapters until we do most requests. If I can't find a request, then I'm just gonna skip it. And also, I wanna show off Shibuya. So here we got the cafe. Like they said before, the cafe is a place where you can um. Oh. I did not mean to do that. Uh-uh. No. Uh, this is a place where you can basically, um, what should I call it? Heal. Like they said. Oh, this, there's two entrances. I was like, what is this? Burp. It's another entrance to the, to the cafe. Can we leave? Thank you. Um, this place? Oh, this is a ramen place. Okay. So basically, I think this is another healing area. Um, this place? Wait, what did it say? Silver accessories. Okay, that might be important. Hello. This is Shibuya Central Street, the most flourishing streets of the mall. Thank you. The famous Sanzen Inn Pharmacy. It's full of supplements and medical goods. What's this? A few drinks to choose from. They each cost 600 yen. Or 160 yen. Mm. I don't want dog's coffee. I don't want coffee for dogs. What's this? Various magazines line the racks. Oh, hee-ho, Mark. Hee-ho. 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 Um, obviously, hee-ho re references one of the enemies or monsters or allies in... Basically, the big um, mascot of um, Atlas, which is um, Jack Frost. He's just supposed to be a cute little snowman. This is the instantly recognizable mascot, Hiho. <laughs> Hiho Mart is a convenience store that sells everyday consumable goods. The store also has a unique service where it will buy back goods from its customers. You should make use of the store to repair before going exploring as well as to get rid of unwanted items. Yeah, we're good. Um, the sales clerk, as you saw, is supposed to be a reference to uh, Anna from the Fire Emblem series. She basically appears in any game that's related to Fire Emblem. 
Our rice ball series made with select ingredients. These feature domestic rice and seaweed. The happiness bread series. Oh, I want some of that. Low in calories and baked with high quality ingredients. Ooh, we should pick some of that up. You know dishes line the shelves including Hiho Market's salt flavored defroster and soy sauce flavored house under. Okay. The article reads, what is the secret behind Yashiro Tsurugi? The okay, we've already seen this. Um, yeah, that's kind of it for the Hee Ho Mart. It's just your know, everyday um, shopping mart in a video game. Yes, I know. I don't. It's annoying to have to read those things. Um, the cheerful voice of staff members can be heard from inside. Obviously, I won't be doing this a lot. I just want to show off, like, what's here. Oh. A display of daily so necessities are in sale. Oh, that's nice. Okay, that's it for this area, Shibuya. But there's many other areas. Oh, let's not get ran over by a car, though. Um, who are you? I heard the audition at Daitama got canceled for some reason. I wonder when they'll start up again. I don't know. Um, this. Yeah, this area is pretty small. There's not really much to it. This is gonna be important later, but it's not that important at the moment. And this is the final area of Shibuya that we can actually go to, cause so this is Jewelry Carabia. Carabia. Uh. Welcome to Jewelry Carabia. At Julia, Jewelry Carabia, Carabia, oh, I can't. You can purchase accessories to for Izuki and the cast. Accessories can be equipped like pieces of armor. Like, <laughs> like pieces of armor. Wow, I don't know where to stop. Even though there's literally periods. Um, check this shop often because they're invaluable inside a dungeon. We're good, but, um, I don't know if she's supposed to reference any character. I don't know much about Fire Emblem. I don't think she's an SMC character of any sort. <laughs> I can't imagine life without video games. I always get the day one copies when the first edition bonus is. Yeah, well, I wait for my birthday for my games. And Christmas. This back alley somehow feels like a place where mature people hang out. Uh huh. Mm. Yeah, I don't think you want to go in there, little girl. Uh, is that it? That's it? I mean, okay. Well, I guess we can read these topics and end off the video with um, just standing out here. But let's read these first. Found Yuzume Lesson Studio? You know how long until you get there? Do you know how long? Oh my gosh, I can't. I'm sorry. Um, Itsuki, are you nervous about your first lesson? Remember, experience is the key to success. Good luck. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm just so popular. It's almost time for the first lesson. Okay, I get it. Um, but yeah, I think that'll be it for this video. So if you like this video, please comment, like, and subscribe. And stay tuned for some more videos of Tokyo Mirage Sessions and other videos I make. And in the next video, we will, um, go to Uzume Lesson Studio and continue the game. And... 
I will see you all later. Goodbye.